for an electrician to have proper tools in place. And it is also very important for him to know how to use them and take care of them. Welcome to this session on wiring tools. After completing this session, you will be able to identify the wiring tools, use the wiring tools. Look at these pliers. Pliers are used to cut wires, twist wires and hold wires in place. There are three types of pliers that are commonly used. Combination pliers, cutter pliers and nose pliers. The first type is combination pliers, also called as joint pliers. They are used to cut and twist wires. The second type is cutter pliers. They are used specifically to cut wires, especially in cases where the combination pliers cannot be used. The third type is nose pliers. They are used to hold wires in place, grip nuts, loosen terminals and also tighten terminals while fixing a wire. Useful tool for any electrician. It is used to remove insulation coating from wires like this. So you see the wire does not get cut in the process while peeling the wires. is another important tool of an electrician. Can you see these screwdriver tips? They come in many different shapes and sizes. They can be fixed to the metal blade and used as per the cuts on the screw heads. Screwdrivers are used to tighten or loosen the screws or in other words open screws. Marker to mark hole to be drilled. You can use it in place of poker to mark the holes. Before drilling, use a center punch to mark the spot to be drilled. Drilling machines are very useful when you need to fix electrical fittings. Using a drilling machine, you can drill holes in all kinds of surfaces like wooden boards, plastic, wall, and metal. These are drill bits which come in small and big sizes and for different surfaces. Look, what are these? These are called Rowell plugs. And they are inserted in the holes drilled, especially on walls. to provide a grip for the screw to hold in the concrete or brick.
next is a pipe wrench. It is an adjuster nut which is used to adjust the distance between the two jaws. The pipe wrench is used to open the joints of a carrier pipe. It is also used to fix the joints of a carrier pipe. Here is a of saw. It is called the hacksaw. A long blade, very useful tool. It comes in various lengths. This saw is specifically used to cut metal and can also be used to cut plastic and PVC. Let's take a look at the ball pin hammer, a very useful tool. It is used to hammer nails, hit chisels to cut through wall and nail beaten to clip wires. Pincer, it is also called a crow hammer. It is used to hammer the nails, remove nails, straighten the nails, splitting iron. Friends, it is used to connect wires and weld terminals. This is a neon tester. Always a ready tool for an electrician. A small tool, but it does a great task of detecting whether the supply is on. When you put the end on the terminal. See how the bulb glows. And this means that the supply is on. This is a test lamp. It has a phase wire and a neutral wire connected to a bulb. This tool is used to check if a part is functioning by doing a continuity test. The bulb glowed and this means the equipment under check is OK. For a few inspections, the test lamp is connected in series with the equipment using this piece of wire just like this watch how it is connected Multimeter, a very useful diagnostic tool and it is used to check supply continuity in the test equipment. This is a digital multimeter and as the name suggests, it can be set to multi-units for diagnosis. By rotating this dial to the required unit, voltage, resistance and so on. Now look at this display panel. The reading is shown here. Here, these two wires called probes. The red is positive and the black is negative, which gets connected to the multimeter slots while in use. These probes are placed to the unit to be tested. Positive to the input or phase terminal of the unit and negative to the output or the neutral terminal of the unit. And now we check the reading on the display to find if this unit under test is okay or faulty.